One of the best ways to optimize a game is by using LOD or level of detail. What is LOD? You've probably noticed in some games that when you view buildings or objects from a distance, their quality is lower than when you're up close. That's LOD in action. Low quality at a distance and high quality when close. There are two main ways to implement LOD. The first is to create LOD models in Blender, and the second is to set them up directly in Unity. For example, you can create LOD models in Blender, export them as an FBX file and import them into Unity. Here's how it looks. The FBX object will contain several child objects, each with a different level of quality. These objects automatically come with an LOD group component and you can adjust their settings in Unity Inspector. I'll explain how to use the LOD group component in more detail later. The second method is to create an LOD group directly in Unity. How does this work? Imagine you have a building with four versions, each with progressively lower detail and quality. First, make these four version objects child of an empty game object, positioned at a fixed point. Select the parent empty game object and add a LOD group component to it. Now, how do we use the LOD group? Let's start by going to the scene tab. You have a main camera in your scene, which you can move around. With the LOD group, you can control which version of the building is displayed based on the camera's distance from the object. Here's how it works. LOD0 is the highest quality, used when the camera is very close to the building. Drag the camera in the LOD0 field and assign the highest quality model to LOD0. Move the camera farther away, then assign the slightly lower quality model to the next LOD level. After it, assign the third model to the next LOD level. Need to add a new LOD level? Simply right click in the LOD group component and select Insert Before. Now, as you move the camera, the building's quality changes based on its distance from the camera. To adjust the distances at which these transitions occur, modify the desired field size in the LOD group component. For testing and better visualization, set the LOD range to a smaller values so you can clearly see the transitions. First play, turn open a stats window to monitor trees and vertices. As you move the camera farther back, the building's quality decreases gradually and the number of trees and vertices in the game drops, improving performance. To make transitions between LOD levels smoother, select the crossfade option in the LOD group settings. And there you have it, the LOD group is one of the best ways to optimize your game's performance. I hope this tutorial was useful for you, thanks for watching and have a great day!